Hey guys, welcome back to Kanitra Hester channel. What it is, what it ain't, and what it should be. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you leave your thoughts below. Let's get right into it, guys. So guys, if you don't know, Lotto and Nicki Minaj have been going through Twitter beef. Mulatto said, Mulatto said, I die on this hill by myself. Everybody ain't lying on you. We see the pattern be for real. Someone said, high key, you reminded everyone what she does. She started with Little Kim, Cardi, Remy, Megan, and now you. She's not for the females. Okay, guys, so if you don't know, the Twitter beef started because Nicki Minaj was taken out of the pop category, which Nicki knows she will not win in the pop category with Harry Styles and all the others. But Nicki said, hey, if I'm going to be taken out of the um, pop category for the Grammys, then a lot of needs to be taken out of the pop category as well for big energy. And Nicki said that only because she does feel like that in the song, which it is. And she raps all through the song. There is no singing or anything. But Lotto does do a little singing stuff too, you know, which is why... Um, Nikki felt the way that she did. Lotto and Nikki did have a phone conversation, but Nikki, as always, she did take it to the to the gram and took took it to Twitter, the internet. You know, people was just like, Lotto, you won, baby. Someone said, No, what? See, the pattern is of you newbies being opportunities and showing fake love to get a future, then start hating and scrubbing when you get to climb the future. That is the pattern we see. So, if you guys don't know, Lotto has been a fan since the rap game since she was like around twelve something years old. You know, she was standing in the line. She always never snubbed Nikki. Nikki, she has been a fan of Nikki ever since she was a child. Just imagine growing up seeing a role model and then all of a sudden they're coming to you one day over a Grammy thing. Lotto was just basically like, hey, you know, I cannot celebrate my my Grammy nomination because, you know, one of my favorite female rappers, like always, is always coming out snubbing. And then she even called out Nicki Minaj for snubbing her all through the month of March. She was like, hey, Nicki, you've been snubbing me since March. What's the real reason you don't like me? You know what I mean? If you guys don't know, it really did get nasty. A lot of co called out Nikki for being like a 40-year-old bully. And a lot of mature, sexy, grown women out here did not like that. Um, then Nikki had called out a lot of, you know, for basically her dad being 30-something when like the mom had her at like 16, 17. So, child, it was a hot mess. The Twitter beef been going back and forth. Tell me what you guys think. The fans are hyped. You see people switching sides. Nikki fans to a lot of sides. A lot of fans to Nikki sides. Now, they're both wrong. And let me tell you why. People should not be talking about age. People should not be talking about things that was already talked about in a private conversation. But, you know, it's unfortunate because Lotto and Nicki Minaj, they are both very talented. And from my, what I know, they both do take their pens to the paper a lot of times, regardless of ghostwriting or whatever. I do feel like it's unfortunate because they're both black female artists. They're an example and they're role models to the new and upcoming um, rappers and female artists out there. So it is unfortunate. I do feel like we just need to be better people and be a better person. In my Christina, in my Christian rap voice, it is getting too much child out here. And the Twitter beef is beyond done. Now, it's a little bit giving too much. I just wish that Nikki would be a little bit more happy and a little bit more supportive when it comes to that. But I think Nikki knows that she's not going to be in a high standing when it comes to her being placed in a pop category. So, you guys, just tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel. Also, I do feel like talking about Nikki's age isn't um, appropriate on Lotto's and. And Nikki and Lotto, it has been, like, super, super funny. But you know how it is when you throw one slug and you bring the table to the table. And my Lotto voice, things can get a little bit messy. So people on Twitter have this to say, energy, anyone who says different is simply a Nikki hater or troll. I love to see a more street record win, male or female. I'm just saying, right is right. Honestly, I understand what they mean. I would like to see Glorilla actually be nominated for a Grammy for a more street record because she did have the song of the summer. And honestly, I do think that Big Energy is a pop song, you know. And I think that the Grammys are being shady and snubbing Nicki once again whenever they get an opportunity because Nicki has never got a Grammy in anything that she has ever done for any collaborations over the years. And if you know in my Drake voice, I can give two facts about where the Grammys go. 
And also, Drake did call out the Grammys as well. So did Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye West, and Drake. And I honestly see what they're talking about. They're not called the Grammys, they're called the Scammies. Because, to be honest, they overlook hard work and very talented creators in order to throw shade. Someone said, well, a lot of said, I got my pop song going up now. I'm going to give y'all that urban motherfucker. So if you guys do not know... A lot of those streams are actually going up very, very high because Nicki Minaj did shout her out. Um, she did mention her. She did mention the song. So people are wanting to go see, like, hey, should this song be in a pop category or should it be in the rap category? And that did help um, Lotto make a lot of money based off streams. So in a way, Nicki did put money in her pocket. And I don't know. Do you guys think Mulatto? Well, Lotto was showing fake love to Nikki this whole time and really didn't like her this whole time. Or do you think she's been waiting to disrespect Nikki? Or do you think it was just mutual, like how she felt? And do you think that Nikki did go too far as far as taking it to the internet, even though she already had a phone conversation with Lotto? You know? So if you guys don't ask me, it's gotten a little messy on both parts. But. Like I said, we got to leave it to them to figure it out, honestly. I respect Lotto for even having a phone conversation with Nikki. She did say that she recorded the phone conversation with Nikki because she knows how Nikki operates. She knows how she moves. And, you know, you know, my word versus your word situation, recording the conversation probably seemed a lot to her. People did, and we're calling now um, the Grammys for their antics. A lot of mainstream artists even said that, you know, the Grammys doesn't matter because the fans is what matter. You know, the fans coming out, using their hard-earned money to see you and to support you is the only thing that does matter. Um, people were saying, hey, the show should be based on talent. And it shouldn't be based off basically the owners making a decision about who should win and who should not win. I think they should win by who the audience want them to win by. And a lot of times the Grammys and the Scammies, you know, they do use artists to manipulate their work. And I feel like as a lot of growing up, everyone always wanted to win a Grammy. Like it's our number one dream as an artist to always win a Grammy because it, it brings some type of validation. But in a world where that doesn't matter anymore because it's not based off, it's not based off who's the greatest or who's the most talented. But they do play artists against each other, and I just kind of feel like if I was Nicki, I would hit a Beyonce, and I would not be talking about this because this is what people live for. This is what people do. But Nikki has called out the Grammys a lot of times and has spoke her truth about them a lot of times. So it's almost like can you blame our owners for not being that well in her favor? But I do think that they should be fair. I do feel like Nikki has always been out here doing it. She's been out here doing it since the two thousand. But there was a time where Nikki did disrespect other female artists, OGs that came before her, you know, and I'm talking about little Kim or my like not some more foxy but i just kind of feel like now that the girls are like growing up and they're actually becoming more talented and more official in this game you have to keep the drama going I think people should just be happy for all of the success that was made over time and to basically keep going and doing their things and making sure no one's on their Nikki hate train. So, guys, do you think that um, people are downplaying um, Nicki Minaj's achievements? Do you think that people are just pissed off about the whole thing? Someone said she wasn't attacking you or coming from you. She was just... She just wants the Grammys to treat everyone fairly, and she's absolutely right. Someone said, don't come on here crying. We all know how Nicki this is. Is she... Is she was being shady, she would have name dropped your song. And because she did name drop it, you're about to see an uptick in streams, which you will get paid for because she fought for it. Say thank you, 
or zip it, which is true, guys. I think Nikki did try to be fair about the whole thing. I think it. We live in a world where it is sensitive, and Nikki should just make sure that you know she isn't always speaking her mind, even though we all think the same thing. But I wouldn't say like speaking her mind. I would just say make sure you play your cards right because we all know how the Grammys are. But I'm glad that Nikki did say something about it because I am a Nikki lover, guys. I'm a Lotto lover. So if you guys do not know, Lotto did get her fame and her start from rap game at the age of 12. Yes, she did not sign with Jermaine Dupri. And Nikki was kind of talking about it like how she didn't like how like Lotto was disrespecting and Lotto even saw the change of how Nikki was acting to her um Nikki probably did feel the type of way that she was out here boasting about not signing to the rap game but still getting paid for tours and shows and everything but I honestly feel like Lotto not signing to the rap game as a kid literally did make her not be in a lifelong contract. And because she had her family there and everything, she decided to be an independent artist. And because of that, now she's making millions. And now she's at a point where, you know, she just wants to be happy and celebrated. No one wants to keep the beef going. Someone said, nobody is saying that the no one is saying that. The point is your song is pop and hers is rap. And get she's in the pop category while you're in the rap ones. And before you try saying it's not pop, you said it yourself. I got my pop song going up now. I'm finna give y'all that Urban MS. Okay, so back to what we all have been saying. You know, Nikki did rap all the way through Super Freaky Girl. You know, there was no singing. There was nothing. There was That was not it. So if you ask me... Lotto should be in the pop category and Nikki should be in the rap category. And I think Nikki knows that she won't win in, in the pop category. And she's that's still the way of Grammys using their antics to be like you were nominated, you just did not win. You know what I mean? I just think it's super like that that it doesn't make any sense to keep snubbing Nikki when you know for sure that she deserves those props and everything else that comes before it. I just feel like people simply don't like her because of how distribute she is in the industry, how she doesn't play any games and how she's super, super independent and she's rich and, you know, she's breaking barriers. And regardless, she's like one of the most powerful female rappers out right now. And, you know, and Beyonce is that for R&B. Beyonce is that, you know, for everything and i actually love it someone said nikki collab when someone said age like milk and you know nikki did call mulatto a karen and it's because mulatto's half white and half black she's mixed but i did feel like nikki now that was a little shady you know like we're not gonna do that we're not gonna call Lotto. Karens, we're not going to keep it up. We're just going to ignore all of this and we're going to keep going and like be better with everything that is going on. So, guys, tell me what do you think? Do you feel like Lotto was trying to be treated fairly? Do you think Nikki? was right for, you know, basically saying like, hey, you know, my song is rap, their song is pop, and that is what it is. Or do you think that it's just a lot? Someone said, you're doing too much, stop it. It's clear you never liked her from the start, and you have been waiting to disrespect her. Someone said, it's been so good watching you at Lotto come up, glow up, and grow into a beautiful young lady. When, at Lotto, when you come to Australia, when will you come to Australia? Basically, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, that's nice. It's so much love going her way. You know, it's just really unfortunate that the Grammys did do this. The Grammys, unfortunately, was not treating Nikki, you know? 
nice. They weren't treating her fair. And even me, I'm kind of tired of the Grammys um, snubbing her. I'm tired of them, like, making up these antics so that female artists and women can keep fighting, you know? Nikki, even being nominated, is going to bring big ratings to their show. Nikki even talking about it will bring big ratings to her show. I feel like Nikki knows how they play. She knows they don't play fair. And in return, she's always pointing out or blamed to be the bad guy. And Nikki is just like not here for it anymore. And people were kind of just like, hey, Nikki does deserve her props. Nikki does deserve everything that all these other female rappers are getting. And I honestly think that they're right. It's about time that Nikki actually gets celebrated. Someone said, your father is in his 60s. Your mother is 39. Meaning your father had you. He, Your father had you. He was roughly in his late 30s. Your mother was 16 or 17. You know what that means, right? At Lotto. So when she called out Nikki age, people actually started, even Nikki Minaj started talking about how her dad was in his 30s whenever he met the mom and it's just really really crazy guys fans started taking to twitter and instagram and basically just talking about like hey um you know what that means if your dad had you at that age when your mom was 16 or 17 which is not legal so mulatto did call Nicki Minaj husband a rapist I was like whoa and Nicki was not feeling this because this is what she had to say one didn't care about rape when she was begging for features two didn't care about Kodak's past three didn't care about the accusations made about Dr. Luke who produced big energy four news flash scratch off I never raped anyone I've inspired mem- millions you are you're one of those bimbos so, guys, that was a handful to take in. Dr. Luke, if you don't know, he does have a past with Kesha. That's who Doja Cat is signed to as well. So, he does have a lot of rape um, accusations. Um, Kodak definitely does. Um, Nikki is just like Newsflash. Scratch off. I never raped anyone. I've inspired millions. You're one of those bozos and you didn't care about rape when you were asking for for futures from someone who you said has a rapist husband so like make it make sense lotto you know what i mean um i think it was low blows but nikki just came back with facts and it pretty much stopped all of the antics so nikki calling auto uh, Karen, I can't. <laughs> like, Nikki, you are so tired for that. But I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit funny. Someone said, don't let their jealousy portray out on you. Someone said, Nikki Fake could never bring her that wheelchair and jello and tell her to sit down and take notes. Yeep. Yeep. I got time today. Someone said, some. Y'all are some sellouts for real. Y'all going to learn because people are switching sides, like I said, guys. And people are still keeping these antics going. So I think that is very, very hilarious. And I honestly can say that no one wins when two artists feuds like that. But tell me, guys, what do you think? Do you think some of their fans are making it better? Do you think they're making it worse? Do you see where Nikki's coming from? Do you see where Lotto is coming from? You know, I see where both of them are coming from, but I honestly don't feel like neither of them are right in this situation. Lotto did um, put out the tapes about Nicki Minaj and her conversation. And like I said, Nicki did take it to the internet, and Lotto already knew she was going to do it, so she posted the phone conversations and she put hashtag 40 year old bully like i said a lot of people weren't saying that um let me specifically say i'm sorry i'm delusional for saying we knew newer female rappers are flourishing and you said no one cares about my little song lyrics my bad fyi i only record it because i know who the f i'm playing with hashtag 40 year old bully so i'm just like wow that was a lot going on 
And do you guys think it's jealousy? Do you think that Nikki's a 40-year-old bully? Do you think the Grammys are sitting back watching all of this and just laughing and playing off of the Twitter fuel and the Twitter beef? Because I feel like no one would have honestly known about any of this conversation if a lot if Nikki didn't take it to the internet and if Lotto never posted, you know, the phone conversations, which should have been private on both parts, which is why they both are wrong. I honestly feel like if you talk to something like your homegirl, your homeboy, if you talk about something, just leave it there. No need to keep the mess and the chaos started. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>